guys welcome back if you are new to my channel welcome to the fam so today I have filmed this Instagram baddie makeup tutorial so pretty much this has been going around for a while now and I'm really late to the game but I've been wanting to do it for a while so today I just decided to film it so if you would like to see how I created this fierce winged liner with real fluffy lashes then please keep watching. So I'm starting off with a real luminous base with my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer and I'm just popping this all over my face. I never usually do a dewy look so I thought I would do something different. Then going in with my Benefit Cosmetics Pore Professional and just popping this where I find my pores are the biggest which is generally around my nose and chin area. Now for my foundation I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige and I'm just popping this all over my face and then blending it out with my damp beauty sponge. For concealer, I'm going in with my current favourite, which is the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Fair, I believe. And I'm just popping this on with a brush and then blending it out with that same damp beauty blender. And just popping that on the highest points of my face that I want to bring forward. I did decide to cream contour today and I used the Benefit Hula Contour Stick. Can I just say that this shade is so perfect for cream contouring if you don't have the deepest of skin tones. So I'm just popping this where I would usually contour with a powder and then I go in and blend it out with my damp beauty sponge again and obviously not the side that I blended my concealer out. As I do go back in and blend my concealer with the contour shades out together. Now to bake under the eyes, I'm using, as usual, my Rimmel Match Perfection Powder in Translucent. Just popping that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and along that contour line just because I blended it down a little bit too far. And then I pretty much go in right away and brush that off with a brush as I didn't want it to be too intense. to set the rest of my face as usual I'm going in with my Australis Fresh and Flawless pressed powder in the shade Darkest Brown I think so I'm just gently patting this all over my face without disturbing any of that cream contouring that we did now I forgot to show the product for my brows but you guys have seen me do this plenty of times but I did go in with the Benefit Browsings in the shade number three and I'm just carving out my eyebrows I actually am thinking of doing an updated brow routine since I've had my eyebrows feather tattooed. So if you would like to see that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do so. Then once I've gone in with the powder, I do go in over the top with my Gimme Brow in the shade 3 also. Then to carve out, I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Conceal that we used earlier and just carving out my brows. And 
then I just thought I would do a little after doing both brows. Now to contour the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Light and oh my goodness guys, this is my new favourite bronzer. By far as it is so buildable but doesn't look muddy, if that makes sense. So I'm just popping that exactly where I contoured. And I'm also using my new favourite contour brush which is the Sigma F05 I think. I will leave it listed on the screen and down below so you guys can have a look. Now just to add a little bit more warmth as we don't have enough yet, do we? I'm going in with Max Give Me Sun on the Sigma F45, I think. Again, I'll leave it listed on the screen. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm using this just to buff this bronzer around exactly where we just contoured. Now for blush, I'm going in with my Tarte Color Wheel and I'm going in with the shade Concept. I'm pretty sure this was a limited edition palette, but I believe they do have a blush that is a very similar color, and I was living for this. So I just popped that on the apples of my cheeks, and yeah. Now for highlighter, which is all our favorite part. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero palette, going in with the shade 143 on my Sigma tapered highlighting brush. I will leave it on the screen as usual. Holy dooly guys, can you see that glow that's happening on my face? I was obsessed. So just popping this in the usual spots, cheekbones, cupid's bow, nose, bridge of my nose, and you know the drill. Now starting off with the eyes, I did decide to tape as I wanted this to be nice and crisp. I'm starting off with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and just popping this in my crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush. I only used two shades in this whole eye look. I made it really simple for you guys. So just popping that in, I did go in a couple of times just because I wanted to build up the colour. But yeah, just popping that in my crease, nice and messily. Messily? Is that even a word? <laughs> Now I'm going in with the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek as well and I'm popping that on with the same brush. I just wanted to deepen the crease just a little bit as I thought Peach Smoothie looked a bit too warm. So I did go in with Creme Brulee and just did the exact same thing. Now for some winged liner. I'm actually surprised I got any of this on camera if you ask me. But I'm using my Maybelline Master Precise eyeliner. I can't remember exactly what it's called but I will leave it in the description box below. But I'm just using this to create a very dramatic wing. I never planned to make my wings as bigger as bigger? <laughs> as big as they turn out but I like the way I look in the end. Oh my god that is so satisfying. Yes! Now going in with falsies I'm going in with the bespoke lashes in the style Natasha and this is how they look. Now going in with those two same shades that we used on the crease, on the crease, in the crease. So Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee and just popping those on with my Sigma E35 and E45 blending brushes. To finish off the look, I'm going in with my Too Faced Lip Liner in the shade Perfect Nude. I'm just lining my lips as per usual and then filling them in with this colour also. Then going over the top of that, I thought this shade was so perfect for this Instagram baddie look. I'm going in with Max Velvet Teddy and just popping that straight over the top. And that completes this look guys. If you did enjoy this, make sure you give me a massive thumbs up as it helps my channel out a lot. And hit that big red subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!